What is going on guys, Greggles TV. I'm gonna show you how to install Google Cam, also known as Gcam, on your Galaxy S10. It could be an S10, S10e, or S10 Plus, but it needs to be running the Snapdragon processor. So if you're not, I don't have a walkthrough for that, for the Exynos processor. Uh, this one's for the uh, Snapdragon, which is basically America, Canada, and a bunch of other places as well. So let's get right into it. So I got this walkthrough from XDA developers. I'm gonna link it down below, and it's really easy to follow. So they have it labeled out one through 10. Label, uh, uh, number one is download the Google camera APK. So just click on that. It's gonna bring you to this website and you're gonna click this green button where it says click here to start download. And then you wanna choose a server. So choose the server that you want. You could choose any of these or just choose, uh, I just chose the green one. I've already downloaded it, but I'll download it again. So I'll just hit, basically you might have not have to down, hit download, but you will see this. It's gonna say the files might be harm, harmful, blah, 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 blah. Just hit okay and then it should start to download right here. It's gonna take a little bit to download, at least it is for me, it's kind of a slow server, so you know, give it some time. Once it's done downloading though, what you're gonna do is click on the file, and you might get this where it says, for your security, your phone is not allowed to install unknown apps from this source. All you're gonna do is hit settings, then allow from this source, hit the back button up top here, and hit install at the bottom right. Now that the file is done being downloaded, just hit done at the bottom right and hit your home button again and go back into that website link that I put in the description down below because we want to download the next set of files, which says number three, download the config files for the saved settings. So click on that, hit that green button again Click on the server that you want to download it from. I'll just click the green one that's already there. And it's already downloaded. So you swipe down from the top. And when you swipe down from the top, you're going to see Gcam zip. So click on it. And it's going to ask you to extract. So you want to extract it so it ends up in uh, internal storage slash Gcam slash config. So let's hit extract. So what you wanna do is when you're right here, hit the back button, because we wanna put it into a specific file. So press and hold on it. And what you wanna do is hit move. And we wanna do the following. Click internal storage. And then at the bottom right, you wanna click move here. So that the path now, when you click on it, will say internal storage, Gcam, and then configs. Hit your home button. Then what you want to do is swipe up so you see all of your apps and you want to go to camera, but you're going to see two camera apps now. So the one that you want to click on is this one, the black and white one. So just tap that and hit allow, 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 allow. Now what you want to do is double tap the black area next to the shutter button. And you want to select the option for S10CS Mar 2 XML. So we're going to click this downward arrow and it's the bottom one here, tap on that, and then hit restore. And then just to be safe, I would close the camera app and then reopen it. And you should be ready to use your new camera, Gcam app on your phone. And if you go in here, you'll see that some of the settings are missing, but you get a good portion of them. So they will put updates over the course of, you know, the lifetime of this phone. But right now you do get night sight. So if you want that really cool night looking sight to get the most exposure out of your picture, you can just to show you. There you go. Not the, not the best night image, but it does have that stuff in there. So if you want to take advantage of the Google features of the camera on this phone, such as portrait mode and things like that, it does have all that cool stuff in there. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you down the road. Peace.